Surge Protector vs. Surge Suppressor The terms Surge Protector and Surge Suppressor are somewhat identical, but they are two different things. In a nutshell, these terms may be used to describe devices that limit excess voltage. However, there are many variations between the two with respect to the technologies and required protection levels. Let's get started. Number 1. Surge Protector. A surge protector is best used with a PC. Your computer has components that are sensitive to voltage. In case of a surge, these components can be damaged very easily hence causing destruction of your important data. This damage may tend to reduce the life of your computer, erase all of your data, or may even do major harm, such as causing PC shutdown. Number 2. Surge Suppressor. Telephone lines and power lines run an equal chance of being affected by lightning strikes. There may be differences between the two, but once both are affected by the strike, it is more or less in the same manner. Telephone wiring and power lines run the same distances, as well as through similar environments, therefore, they experience the same dangers in the environment. Often the placement of telephone wires is lower than the power lines, this placement is not regarded by lightning. Lightning can affect any wire on the pole, be it higher or lower. As such, a surge suppressor can be used for both. Number 3. Surge Protector. A surge protector is selected on the basis of the following criterion. Safety rating, a UL or ETL rating is preferred. This shows that the protector has been tested and qualifies the specific safety standards. Capacity, this is based on the joule rating. Ideally, the joule rating should be at least 600 to tackle the majority of household surges. Warning system, a surge protector should warn beforehand once it's weakening, so that it can be immediately replaced. A protector not providing power to your system indicates it has stopped working. Sufficient outlets, Look for a surge protector that has multifaceted outlets. There are also protector models that have pivoted outlets and cater best to your devices. Warranty, it is a good and smart move to ensure that your device has a warranty in the event of it being run down and not working. Number 4. Surge Suppressor. On the contrary, a surge suppressor is selected on the basis of device type. Device types have the following classification. Surge protective devices, standard devices that cater to normal overvoltage. DC suppressors, provide protection from transient voltage and are used for DC and data circuits. They are mainly used for PCs and in telecommunications. Single phase suppressors, they are employed with single phase AC power. Three phase suppressors, these suppressors are compatible with three-phase AC power. I hope with this video I have cleared the blurring differences between surge protectors and surge suppressors. Hopefully, these differences make it easy for you to distinguish between the two next time you intend on making a purchasing decision for either of the two devices. Good luck with your purchase!